In this example, we're told that we have a triangle and we have two side lengths given to us, 14 centimeters and 25 centimeters. And the included angle, meaning the angle in between these two side lengths is 42 degrees. Our goal is to find the expression for the height uh, to the 25 centimeter side. And not as an approximation, but the actual exact height. So what this means by uh, the expression for the height to the 25 centimeter side is if we wanna draw this, the 25 centimeter side is gonna be at the bottom. So go ahead and draw our triangle. 25 is gonna be at the bottom. I'll go ahead and put the 14 centimeter side on the left-hand side. Nothing says it has to be on the left-hand side. It could be on the right-hand side. And then we have our 42 degrees that goes in between them because it's the included angle. Next, our goal is to find this height going all the way from the top of the triangle down to the bottom where the 25 uh, centimeter side is. So as we take a look at this, um, drawing that height in, basically we have a right triangle. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a separate triangle trying to represent the left-hand side of our situation going on here. So again, labeling this, we know 14 on that side, 42 degrees, and it's a right triangle. We don't know the bottom of this triangle. What we do want to find is the height of this triangle. I'm gonna label that with an H. So to do this, what we wanna do is use SOKATOA, SOKATOA. Just a reminder that when we have a right triangle, we're allowed to use these trigonometric ratios. So H would be the opposite side compared to where our angle's at. 14 would be the hypotenuse of this triangle. So what we can do is we can say that the sine of 42 degrees is gonna be the opposite H over the hypotenuse 14. Next, what we wanna do is we wanna represent our height h, we wanna have that on one side all by itself. So to do this, all we have to do is move the 14 to the other side by multiplying both sides by 14. This will give us the representation of h equals 14 multiplied by the sine of 42 degrees. And that completes the first part. Next, we wanna uh, use this expression for the height and calculate the area. So the area of a triangle, as we should know at this point, is gonna be one half multiplied by base, multiplied by the height. So looking at our left triangle, we can say our area could be one half multiplied by the base is gonna be 25 to go all the way across this triangle. And then the height we just said was represented by 14 multiplied by the sine of 42 degrees. Now we could do just a little bit of simplifying down here that we have one half multiplied by 25 multiplied by 14. Well, half of 14 is seven and seven times 25 is 175 multiplied by bringing along the sine of 42 degrees. So that's an exact, exact, not an approximation uh, represent, representation of our area. Uh, the units in this case would be centimeters squared because it was 25 centimeters and 14 centimeters were our side lengths for this triangle that were given to us from the beginning. So that'd be the exact, exact, not an approximation area. If we wanted to find an approximation here, it's gonna be about 117.097856 dot, dot, dot centimeters squared. All right, hope this helps out as you're working through uh, trying to represent these, get the side lengths on the correct sides and represent our height. Good luck.